What's going on, everybody? It's Ron Brown, LMT, and this is a New Yorker's Perspective. And today we have Divine 37, 37, pardon me, 39, our law in the building with us. Born. Understanding Born. We have, all right, so you explain your name, God. Divine Understanding Born, the law. The spelling is D-I-V-I-N-E and then 39. All right. Right, like the God I God had. I seven, Master I God. His name is he spells it though. Master I seven. So like like understanding God, understanding God a law. Um and he spelled his understanding then seven then a law. Right? All right. So I picked up on that and was like like A B G. Um he got an A, a B, and G, you know, for his born. Like that's you know, we we we, we copy off each other like that. So, yeah, so that's that's how we go. Math, I put the math and the alphabets all up in there. All right. That's peace, God. All right. Yeah, I see that. Now now, now that you explain it, I understand. Understand and understood. So, God, let, let, I want to go into, um, I want to first go into the, being that, you know, I've been doing a lot of Moorish, you know, interviews. I want to mm -hmm. go into the CM Bay and 5% history. And um, if there was any kind of issues there or, you know, what happened with the history? Because I probably was I was probably a little little baby at that time. Yeah. See, what you have to understand in that particular scenario, it's not it's not the way you would think closed a closed circuit. It was an open circuit. And so in the beginning, no one even really knew about CN Bay. Because he's 1947. We knew about Noble Drew Ali because Justice Equality Bookstore had a pamphlet on the Moorish Science Temple of America. And so we were studying that because we saw the seven. Remember, only two people in the wilderness of North America to deal with I, self, Lord, and Master both carry a seven. So once we saw that seven, that seal was cracked, and then, you know, law brought it to the next level. Um, so when we was... When we first got knowledge of self 120, um, we were traveling everywhere based on 120 was guiding us to um, look into all of these different uh, schools of thought because in our lessons it was saying that the European and all of them had had a whole of our lessons and now that the seal had been cracked in 13 and all the way opened in, in 64, we were going and getting ours. So that's how that started. So when we would be going to the Universal Rally um, Parliament, um, I would bring um, Circle Seven Quran, but I only really uh, made a copy of the creation and fall of man. Time never was when man was not a time ever was when man was not time would be when man would cease to exist. Um, the mind and man and the law are all one and the same. So it was matching with my lessons, man, born wisdom, builds, you know, like that. So the man is mine, like Dumas would say. So we were teaching the creation and fall of man to match up with the first degree of one to ten. That's really what was happening. And so um, Dumas, Umalash, none of them had a complaint about it. Matter of fact, there was some guards that would get up there and, and quote it. Uh, creation and fall of man because of the the way it manifested um, in case you were still caught up in the mystery guard it would draw you out of that so you could get the full understanding of the message to the black man or first degree to one to ten who's the original man, original man, Asiatic the black man make on the green planet and fall of the universe. So that's that's how we started. So we were doing that and I would be at the front door and I would hand them a pamphlet um, like uh, Malik and all of them would do. Um, he just passed not too long ago. Uh, they, everybody would be doing their research through the week, I mean, through the month. And then when Parliament would come, we would make copies of stuff that we felt that was pertinent. And we would bring it and we would hand it out in the beginning of the rally when people are coming in. And then um, we would... Uh, we would... Um, have them, well, Umala said, don't, don't give them no pamphlet unless they put something in the jar. 
So every time they put something in the jar, I would give them that plan for it. All right, so all that took place first, to make a long story short. We were doing that for it. Oh, at least two years. Parliament had only standing room only, this, that, and the third, right? So nobody had a problem with Noble Du Ali because his his teachings are exactly the same as ours. It's just from a uh, little more religious point of view. Yes, sir. All right, right. So then, um, I'm not sure if I had left or went to college and came back. Yeah, I went to college. Because I had to go back to UW. I mean, I had to go back to um, Washington State. Oh. And um, that's why I was doing air, air personality, radio broadcast communication. And um, I was working at PacCon Foundry, all that kind of shit like that. So, man. You got me smelling like craziness. So, anyway, they, that's how that went down. And so, once... Um, well, the, I don't, I don't know exactly how the, it got inside, but one day I came to the rally, and Prince ABG, not, not firstborn ABG, but Prince ABG, he's old school like them too, though. And so he says, "Divine, come here, take me to the cafeteria. I want you to build with them. What are they talking about? Because he had already, we had already understood uh, Noble Drew Ali, but these cats from CM Bay was saying." Um, something to the effect um, they were trying to say the second degree and the one to ten should have been God and that the first degree and the one to ten should have been grown up sons. So that immediately started a war. What? That's how wait, wait, started. hold on. Rewind that card. So the second degree and the one to ten should be what? Well, see, when you're looking at the second degree uh -huh. If you if you if you reverse engineer it, it's saying man, woman, because it man one, woman two, three, understand. No matter how you look at it, it's gonna be man, woman, child, right? All right. But when you flip it and you say it's woman, man, child, you automatically make devil. Right. You see why I said the With second degree and one again. All right. So since they did that, they caused that confusion. They they made it happen. They made that happen so that, um, based on that, that caused that that caused the gods not to want to fuck with the Moors, straight up. All right. Because once they were saying the woman is arm, leg, leg, arm, head, man, that was catching a lot of hell. Because, but that's what happened was I went into the cafeteria. And the guys that was, it was Understanding and Supreme. They now, they, they changed their names to, um, to Maury's names. I don't want to scream them out. Cause, but even though they tried to scream me out in the MST of A. See, that's how that went down. Hmm. So what, what year was that? Been, what year was huh? it? What year that's was the that? 80s. All this is going down in the 80s. Right. So when... Um, because if, between the 80s and the 90s, because when I went to college and came back, we came back before the 80s was over, right? It was 83, 84, 85. 85, we go to Seattle. We finish up the rest of our study. 86, 80, by 88, we back in New York. Well, we in, we in Florida, and then by the end of 88, coming into 89, we back in New York again. And so that's why they had that little time to, um, to take over the ADAP chamber and take over the MST of A and this, that, and the third. So by the time I got back, they was already telling the elders, kind of like in so many words, not to put me on because I'm 5% and I still wear my, I'm still in the 5% nation. I'm going to the rally. So in other words, the 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 five percenters, which they was job pretenders, and they became more science temples. And we all knew each other. So to make themselves look good, they told the elders in there not to put me on because I was five percent and not more science. But yeah, if you can understand that. All right. So that's that part. Right. Mm -hmm. So then when we end the in the cafeteria, these are the same guys that I put on. They were in the cafeteria saying they had got some of their science from Rami Bay. 
Rami Bay with the yellow bus on Guyar Brewer and um, 109th, that area. All right. So can you like that, Lord? And so um, that's when, because we was all studying Rami Bay and all that, right? Um, we even, me and Dao even went to Syracuse and took them through the ADAP chamber after we had went through the ADAP chamber in Chicago. We went to Syracuse and put them on, the, all the guards that was in um, um, Kamani and all that, and we put on. And so, because um, we wasn't holding back. We, we knew that this shit was, was off the chain, and we was, we was, we was putting everybody on. So um, that's like in that part. So then, uh, like I said, we went into that cafeteria. I just want you to give a little background so you understand why they picked me to go into the cafeteria to talk to them. So when I saw them, they had on their taboos, you know, that hat that the Russians wear. Right. They had on that, so they didn't even know how to get a fez yet. Mm. And so that's to show you how dirty they was. That's that dirty moor shit. They, even the moors in Chicago called them premature moors and dirty moors. They called them that. I didn't never call them that. And so, um, uh, where was I at? Okay, so now I'm in the cafeteria, so that you catch on. So I go in the cafeteria, they got on their taboos. We have a little um, exchange in, in, in science, and I tell them, they tell me that they moors and that they mo and that they found them in C.N. Bay, and that's 1947. And I go, oh, well, you, you, y'all are behind the time. I said, because Nobuji Ali got more in science. He's the founder, not C.N. Bay. If C.N. Bay comes in 47, he can't be the founder of the Moorish science in the wilderness of North America because Noble Drew Ali started teaching in 1913. That's how I blew them up. And then I went in my backpack and pulled out my says, and they didn't have one. <laughs> they didn't have Circle 7 Quran. They didn't have one in one question. No oh, kind of Moors are y'all? No Moorish literature. They had nothing. But they had some CN Bay stuff, but they didn't have it. They just knew about it. Mm -hmm. So I put them on and took them to the MST of A and this, that, and the third. These are the same ones that when I came back from college, they tried to snake me and try to make it so I couldn't go to the ADAP chamber. But the elders said that they were premature Moors because when we came into Moorish science, we knew about Leviticus 11 because we had How to Eat to Live, book one and book two. And, and we ate that way. But when they got into the Moorish science temple, the Moors, are they have a vegetarian um, foundation, and they tell you the noble prophet Drew Ali said that eggs were liquid flesh, and these motherfuckers were eating crustaceans and hamburgers and and all kind of shit that was that was outlawed when we was. I said, dude, you're eating worse now than you ate when we was in the five percent nation doing rallies at the at the parliament, and you motherfuckers. I said, nah, I can't fuck with y'all because I'm saying we went to the next level. We went from. Leviticus 11 to Genesis. And these some of bitches went from Vicus 11 to Paul. Stop talking about it ain't what you eat. It's your heart quality and all that shit Paul said to, to get the Romans to be down. You feel me? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, without, with a long story being short, by that going taking place and then them demanding that the woman is our law and this, that, and the third, and their whole masonry you grown, you're only a grown up son, this, that, and the third. So one day we had a little debate and I bombed them because I said, well, um, Great Mind was one of the first ones who told us, we ain't all Moors. It, we're too diverse of a nation to all be just Moors. So he said, we ain't all Moors. Some of us is this tribe, that tribe, ah, 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 right? And he said, yeah, and I found out I'm royalty and this, that, and the third in the five or six. He was that, he was in that line. And so when I said to them that great mind said we ain't on Moors and that you're saying that the foundation to Moorish science is CMB and that's 1947, it doesn't, doesn't add up. So that's how they, that's how you, they, the, the guards might have, unless they knew and understood the science of the different two groups, they mixed them all in one and said, fuck it, we ain't down with none of this shit. Because when the Moors from the Moorish Science Temple came to visit uh, the guards, they didn't come to recruit from us or make us bear witness to their sea. But when the CMB Moors came, 
they almost was trying to convert the nation over into that. And that's what caused that war. And they was trying to recruit from us, too, because they was trying to say to the new people that our economics wasn't good. And theirs was because they incorporated a lot of masonry uh, from the not masonry from ancient Kemet and all that. They looked like to me they was using masonry straight from the um, Scottish Rite, York Rite and all of that. Um, so wait, hold that for a minute, Lord, so that they could see. Uh, just so that your uh, your listeners will know, I'm not fucking playing. You feel me? I know what I'm talking about. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. So they couldn't play me, and so I they got mad, and they uh, I guess they got mad, and that's why they told they was trying to tell the um, the elders in the M- MST of A not to put me on. And so, um, but they put me on anyway because they said, "Ooh." This is what the old lady said. 1980, it's like 1986, I want to say, and she's 83, and she says to me, when we in that little, after we went through the adept chamber, then we go sit down and we with the, I'm with the elders and shit. She says to me, oh, I know you, and I'm saying to myself, how does she know me? She said, you're one of Clarence's children. That's what she said. She said, come here, I got two books for you. This green book and this white book. I want you to take that back to New York. And when you get to New York, you start reading it then. Now, that show you how those elders from the MST of A was looking at the God. Now, of course, she didn't say he was all lava. She's 83. And to her, he was Clarence, 13X. That's what she saw him as. And she said, you're Clarence's children. One of Clarence's children. I was shocked because I didn't. We all the way in Chicago. She shouldn't. Have, I didn't think she would know that, but she did. So I said that to say when we're going back. Now we driving back to New York, and I can't help it. Like Elijah said, the spirit of Allah got on me, man. I didn't keep quiet till we got all the way because all that shit I've been wanting to bomb their ass on. Yaku's first rules and regulations, including all laws enforced by manufacturing the devil, what make grain hail, snow, and earthquake, and, and who's the original man, and who's the 5%. I let their ass have it all the way back to New York. Now, the half original sitting with me, he more righteous in the knowledge of self than they was. He had never even been to the 5% nation. That's what pissed me off about that. And so, that's pretty much the history on that, why the guards and the boys and they think it. They think it's both the Moors. They think they don't know that it's C and Bay's Moors are the ones that want to say the woman is our law, and Noble Drew Ali's Moors say time never was when man was not. Right, indeed, God. So now these these this group of Moors, this group of C and Bay Moors, where are they from exactly? Was it the Bay Cipher? Yeah, yeah, some of them. I don't know if the Bay Cipher was them or not because I wasn't in the Bay Cipher, so I didn't really know exactly what they were doing as far as their protocol but some of the bay guards i knew um they did they was guard body and they they studied more science from cm bay for the lower part they weren't really into the masonry and the physical part of being man being man and woman being they wasn't into that part so i wish we had our benches and this rain wasn't killing us but we so um that that's how that happened, right? Um, I know we could put it on the right, right here. So that's how that happened. Um, uh, yeah, if 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 the Bay Guards had never, well, I wouldn't say the Bay Guards, the CM Bay's people that was so uh, open for CM Bay and thinking that they was grown, that the best we could do is be a grown up son. That's what they used to say, that kind of shit. Mm. The best you could be is a grown up son. And, uh, you still there? yeah, the best you could be is a grown up son and that kind of stuff. The news of widow's son. So when we was building one day, I said, so now let me explain my seat on that widow's son shit. Say I'm a widow's son because my father passed away and my mother is husbandless. And if my father, like mine, didn't have any brothers, he only had a sister. So he didn't have anybody that would, in Islam, that would take over your wife. So now you are a widow's 
son. But then what happened? You become 18, 19, 21. You become a grown ass man, right? Now you're a grown up man. You're not a widow's son anymore because now you go and you get you a wife and make sure that you don't leave and she's here with you. And it ain't no widow's son now, you see? So they don't want to grow up. Okay, we was all, if you look at it from a historical perspective, uh, the original man in the wilderness of North America got separated from family. Ah, ah, ah. So the children, in all actuality, weren't even widows. They were orphans. We were all orphans until either Noble Drew Ali took us out of orphanage, W. Dick Rod took us out of orphanage, Marcus Garvey took us out of orphanage, Elijah Muhammad, and with us, Allah. Yeah. Because we had no knowledge of self. We had no idea who our mother and our father was. You don't know your mother tongue, your father tongue, your nation, I, 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 right? Culture, three, brah, all gone. So that's that C on it for me. All right. All right. So now, with that, now that that's uh, spoken about, I want to go into joining the five percent nation right quote unquote so to speak right would you say there's a joining or not no because we're not an organization set up that way a lot didn't set us up to be like a club a fraternity uh dues a church temple mosque synagogue it ain't set up that way it's not set up like a corporation Go a body, I, I, I. That's not what it's. People in the nation do have those kind of organizing because they, uh, what is it called? Um, um, Gomar or the boy said so they were saying good, orderly direction. And so, in good, orderly direction, you have to take from the chaos and organize it in, in order. So, yeah, we have it from that perspective, but we're not a, there's no joining. Like, you don't join something that you already are. You are the original man. Mm -hmm. You already had lamb's wool. I can't make you get that. All of the nations on earth, kind of, not totally, because nothing is absolute, but not totally, but most of their government, education system, political leaders, their nobles, all went against lamb's wool. They all had some form of straight hair. And they all teamed up against lamb's wool fuck well basically since well not since yaku but i would say since 1555 john hardy hawkins jr when all those european nations got together and showed their power then the other ones folded like you look at your hand right and you go black brown red yellow white you end up with a pinky as white thumb as black and you're telling me that that the four fingers didn't don't team up even to this day against lamb's wool Yes, they do. And that's why Lamb's Wool don't like Lamb Wool. And they be having perm and this and that. And I, 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 and we ain't no stronger than our wisdom, our self divine type of master. Because we already stopped doing that since Malcolm X Day. We stopped wearing that perm shit. But she didn't stop. And so if you look at the rawness of not having to have all of that other um, control over how you learn mathematics and shit because you don't have that those kind of organizations have that kind of control it's so self it's so self incorporating and it's so self studying when you don't have discipline you can't really be everybody ain't built to be in the five percent because you might need to go and be five percent in the Morris science temple or, or uh in the nation of islam or, or you know <laughs> like that you might need that kind of discipline maybe you need to take your heart and and it makes a lot. I don't know what you need. You know, as an individual, if you got that kind of discipline, because the lessons are, tell you everything you need to do to show and prove you to God. But now you got to do it, and so that's when you start saying, "Oh, but there's no real joining." I would say in the old days we were recruiting because the law said I'm recruiting, and then there was criteria. But that criteria is all the way back to the old days. If you look back in the old days. Olegba, Oshun, and all them. We quoted our degrees then. Mm. We might have written them down, but we quoted those lessons. Elijah quoted those lessons. Old, old ancient Quran people quoted the lessons. Aaron and all them quoted the lessons. This is nothing new. Quoting the degrees. You quote the degrees so it changes the convolutions on your brain. 
when you change mm-hmm. the convolutions on your brain, you can make next moves. You got to undo the 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 uh, clutter programming that the devil gave us. You can't undo it if you don't. If he his shit is quoted on your brain, we can all say, "I pledge allegiance to the flag." You think that shit ain't on our head, man? Listen. That shit talks about <laughs> hell and destruction and treating us like shit. <laughs> all right, all right. So God, so there's no joining, right? You have this self. There's a self discipline. Um, having an educator. How important is having an educator? Oh my God! Wait before before you go into that. Before you go into yes. that, what's yes. the difference between an educator and an enlightener? Nah, that's the same. Just a different it's synonymous. It's the, um, um, what do you use? A thesaurus if you want it. Mm-hmm. See, what happens is usually they call their educator the one that took them really into it. Somebody could enlighten me and give me knowledge of self. And then they can't take me any further because we might all be in the same age group and this, that, and the third. I, I, I. Like the guard said, he was at the 1 to 36. He was teaching his man. Uh, 120 you only up to the one to 36 when he said in the, in the in the elder guard told him when he catch up with you or get past you you send him to us mm-hmm. so like if i say like if you look at my tree i can use my own tree to see how the enlightenment comes so i'm saying i got introduced to it by prince love universal prince love and then Boyne king actually gave me i yourself self true reality son of man god that was the opening run and then Divine, um, he started too. He gave me nine reasons why law is God. Quote that, he said. And then it took about nine hours. I quoted that. He was like, oh, wait. See, so he already knew. Nah, you too dedicated in what you're doing. I'm going to need you to go to I God. So he gave me the I God. So that's why I say I God was the one that actually born the lessons and took me through it and took me to the gods and let me meet his enlightener and, 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 and lessons and taught me how to quote the degree and all that. Because I didn't, you don't know that from this. You don't know that. Nope. Somebody has to tell you and, and guide you through and walk and talk with you and then it's easy. Then after I got to that point, then I started going to um, schools of thought <laughs> and, you know, infiltrate. The, well, first, this is what I did, really. At first, I took my whole posse with me. I took one of the posses with me, like a little recon unit. Maybe it's a platoon. But that fucked me up. I shouldn't have did that. Because then I came back by myself. They all stayed inside. (laughs) See, they got converted over or whatever the case may be. So I said, I wasn't taking nobody else with me. Because I didn't didn't go to MST at very first. Back in the days when I was working at Bethany and Atlantic, we was going into the Masonic Lodges. I must have went in like three or four of them and got initiated. Just so I could see if they was all saying and doing the same shit. I ain't taking shit on face, but I think y'all lying. So I went through all of them. And then finally when I said I met Hop, he was saying, yeah, you went through all of them. But they only gave you the first three degrees, which is the blue house, which means they didn't give you the infallible name. You got to substitute to the infallible name. You need to hit the other. So he took me, Danner and all them, and they gave me all the Jews and all that. And that's when I cross-referenced and said, oh, that's the 12 Jews. After you mathematically finished Supreme Mathematics, Supreme Alphabet, and 120. Then you get your wages, your 12 Jews. Now you could go out in the world, buy, like mo- like you on a uh, 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 Monopoly. They give you a certain amount of money and to start off and, and, and do you. Mm-hmm. Kind of the same thing knowledge itself does. It's, it sets you up so that you, okay, the devil done programmed us so fucking hard that you need a counteract. And so... It's all good to have knowledge of self in the books, academia, J.A. Rogers, Section Races, Volume 1, 2, and 3, and all the J.A. Rogers book and Clyde Winters. Yeah, but that won't show you how to navigate through this system of European supremacy and all that shit. Gotcha. All right. So, yeah, we ain't joining. You already in the nation. It's whether you want to recognize your higher self and lower self or your true self. Or, man is not the body, nor the nation. soul. Man is mine. And the nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the God said, and preserve the nation. Because if you don't, if we don't do something, like he said, oh, we don't recruit. We do. Allah said recruit. 
get them. Go get the youth. You ain't recruiting if you try. If our whole foundation can't be based on an organization and joining because we really got to, our foundation is based on youth, really. It's us, the young people. Well, I ain't the young people now, but back then I was the young people. And so there was no real elders above us that would put us on because in the old days when you was in the hood, nine out of ten times your parents was already Christian. Right. And already had been programmed from 1555. They wasn't going to put you on. Aunts, uncles, they wasn't going to put you on. There was nobody in the hood that was going to put you on. Elijah and them stayed pretty much in the temple. If you didn't have exposure to Malcolm and all them, you wouldn't have knew. And being children, we uh, we playing with toys, Hot Wheels in those days, and Tonka toys. And we're playing. Basketball, football, running, hunt, runs, catch, do anything, all that kind of shit we was doing. So we really didn't know about knowledge yourself unless your parents was introducing it to you. You don't really get knowledge yourself when you're that young or a woman unless your parents give it to you. Because mm-hmm. women usually got, if they're trying to bring knowledge yourself into a relationship, they got it from their parents. Or some dude already put them on. Right. Somebody, that's how they use it. Dudes will not have knowledge yourself. Be a straight up 85. Their friend will get knowledge yourself. Because it'll be their friend. And they'll be conversating and their friend will tell them certain things and they'll get knowledge of self now. Yeah, and then they'll that. try to go home and bring it. But they had already been in 85 and already set up this relationship with this wisdom, myself, the mind, cipher, master. And so now I'm telling you she's going to resist. Because if you came in the house and said you were saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, you wouldn't get much resistance. But if you come in there and say, I knowledge yourself, I know it's an actual fact. First thing, I'm, you don't think so? All of y'all that ain't got knowledge yourself, just, just be knowledge yourself for two weeks. Go home and tell your wife, you down with Leviticus 11. I guarantee you that house going to go fucking crazy. It's <laughs> on and pop it. Go ahead and stand on that Leviticus 11. You ain't even went to Genesis. Just stand on Leviticus 11. It's on, and that's a nice short one that everybody can get with. Just try it, I guarantee you. The ones who say they down with it, they got you, son. You That's a keeper. The ones who ain't down, if you can get out of that, man, run for the hills. Because she ain't going to never be down with knowledge herself. She's going to want to keep white Jesus. That's my word is bond to a law. <laughs> I-H-V-H, whichever one you like. They all come out to be understanding the culture. Bone God. So, next question, I don't know. Because I'm running out of time and so are you. All right, so... Having an educator, like going back to that, how important is that? That's I just said. That's like a five star. Yeah. How you going to get it? Okay, look. What if I gave you one twenty online? Does it say to you you need to quote this? No. Does it tell you you need to do it one twenty and you need to do it student in Roman one to thirty six? It don't tell you. No. And then it don't even tell you when you know you're missing your mathematics and your algebra. It don't tell you that. Can't tell you that. Yeah. It don't tell you that flow. King not cipher wisdom. Lord equality, divine God equality, bone bone equality, bone knowledge power. It don't teach you that equality. Now that equality is gonna take you right into knowledge, knowledge added on to a cipher. Knowledge not added on to a cipher. And 120 Earth is 93 million miles from the sun. That shit is correlating like a mom. You feel right. me? Because uh, yeah. oh, no. you ain't gonna get that. Because I, I know, I know you, 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 you're running out of time now. Um, or being born to, or born. To. Well, you know, I, some of that is just words, so you understand where they're going with it. Because no, we saying, never I'm used saying, to say all thing? being born to. Pa- we didn't pa- say that. I mean, pa- pa- but God. new people say that. But that's what I'm saying. No, like, it's okay. I heard about it since you, you, since we all got together on Yahoo. I heard them saying it that way. But it don't matter if the math add up. It don't matter how you say it. Equal, born. I, I, I don't give a fuck. It better add up. When Two God said that old crazy shit, he said, uh, "Unders boy, Two God, right?" So Two God said something. We was all watching the game. No, we was watching the boxing match at King's house, and we was. Because we looking all sleepy and because it's that in-between session where they doing the dumb shit and we ain't really paying no attention. And so everybody's building. When it came around to him, he said something in the mathematical equation. Something like if I would have said, uh, now, cipher, rule, truth, equality, and then born it, right? But 
That shit he said, everybody got out of their chair damn near and said, what? Born now, how did you get that? So you thought we weren't listening? You just said any old crazy shit. Because the words all sounded good, but I was saying, just like everybody else said, how did that add up? It didn't add up. See what I'm saying? If I say king, not cipher, wisdom, lord equality, divine, god equality, born, born equality, believe that's an add up. You go to anywhere in America and this shit add up. 85 or, or not, they might not know it in the language, but it add up. So you, but I can't say some shit like the understanding born the equality and I can't show and prove it. Cause you need to take me through how you got there. Right. How did you get there? That's what I'm saying. Right. Another question. Fasting for three <laughs> days. Fasting for three days. Uh, That's the opening. That's the opening. You ain't got no good opening if they didn't tell you to fast for three days. Because how they gave you lessons and you ain't cleaned yourself up. You was already a swine here. Indeed. Indeed. Right. I didn't have to do that because I was already doing that when I God met me. Remember, I'd already seen Prince Love. I'd already seen Born King. And I'd already seen Divine. So by then, I already knew. You can't eat swine. Hey, you can't eat swine. You're supposed to eat one meal a day. You got 16 hours from the next meal at the basics. We already knew that. And you knew how to read the label. So you and you had your three-day fast because they wasn't going to give you no degrees if you didn't do the three-day fast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, picking the name, the difference between honorable and righteous. I think honorable name and righteous name is not too much different, but I always got taught that your honorable name was your your first name because it's honorable. Your parents gave it to you. Your slave name was your last name. That the slave master probably influenced our parents to take, or or we got um, or we got uh, uh, manipulated into having that as a last name, and then. You, you righteous name is because you picked that name based on your mathematical equations. Right. In the old days, we used to make the school call us that. And we didn't have it on our paperwork neither. But then when I started learning Morris science, I actually didn't learn it in Morris science. When I learned Morris law, which in my mind, see, you have to be able to take things and then add on to the cipher and preserve the best part for your what? Self. So when I went into the Morris schools of Morris Law with CM Bay and uh, and um, it was under CM Bay, but it was Rami Bay and them, and they had came from the Morris Science Temple, and then they went into um, uh, it's going to be relevant, and they went into MSTFA, right? And so they were teaching us uh, well, they was MSTFA and then went into CM Bay. But they still adhere. Them old school guys wouldn't wouldn't let go of Nobu Ali's met, metaphysical and philo philosophical side. And they just took the CMA law side. And so from that, they were able to learn how to drop their slave name without making that prayer to the devil. That's what the whole thing was. How do I drop this slave name? Make my righteous name really my name. And I don't got to ask this devil for fucking permission. You feel me? Okay. That's what it was about, Lord. And so if you used more science and then elevated it to Asiatic lore. See, the planet is called Asia and everybody on it is Asiatic. So in all actuality, there's nothing but Asiatics on the whole planet. Black, brown, red, yellow, white. Only the, the, the white ones want to attack everybody because they're colonizer in the the, the Western European is not the same as the Eastern European. You can even see the size difference in the way their physical composition is made manifest. Mm. They're more, the Eastern European would be more of albinos um, children. And and the Western Europeans, man, they got a lot of Yaku and they shit. And then the Mediterranean Europeans, Persians and all them, Arabs and all them, they're amalgamated, miscegenated children. Mm. Clyde Winters killed them, and so did J.A. Rogers. You can't, you can't beat the first degree in the one to ten uh, in in the world of knowledge itself, and you can't beat the one to ten in the world of academia. You cannot, because all I need is J.A. Rogers and Clyde Winters, and then on top of that, I'll give you Dr. 
Ben, Dr. Henry Clark, Ivan Van Surtman. I mean, come on, stop. You just get roasted here. You're killing yourself. So don't kill yourself. <laughs> Right, right. So pick, picking a name, the process of picking a name, some brothers, they get their name from their enlighteners or educators, and some brothers pick their name. Yeah, it depends on how your enlightener feels about it or whatever the gold case may be. Sometimes your enlightener is so high on the food chain, you glad for him to give you a name because he sees something in you that you might not see yet. Other times, enlighteners want you to pick a name that manifests you. And you don't really know right away when you start. You you get it as you, you grow. Indeed, God. Indeed. 